early childhood and preschool is exciting, innovative, Sparks are flying everywhere at the knowledge and the learning that's occurring in our classrooms. We have about 600 uh, pre-K students all across the Cedar Valley. Our focus is on um, pre-literacy skills and math, and we have a very, very strong initiative and focus now on STEM activities and how we can get our youngest engineers and get their imagination going. So we're just very, very excited and grateful for the opportunity to serve the district's youngest students. And today you're going to witness and see the students playing with a mag wall, which we're just so grateful. Um, we got the proceeds to get that through a grant from our local Waterloo Schools Foundation. And so we're just happy and excited for you to see that. They've added some interesting STEM activities in their preschool classrooms, written several grants to get additional STEM materials, and our STEM coordinator at the district wrote us into her budget. So we were looking at some of the new materials and then some of the tried and true materials in the classrooms today. One of the things we looked at were the new water centers and some of the materials that teachers are adding to it. We also saw some children who were doing some amazing things with blocks. Many of our classrooms um, have blocks, but not many of them have as many as the classroom that we saw today. And so one of the foundation grants that was written by preschool teachers this year is to get more blocks in the classroom. They had block structures up for like two weeks, and I love that too because they learned to respect their work, you know, they don't go around and knock it over and accidentally bump into it, you know, they respect one another. When a teacher puts out open-ended activities, students can do many different things with them. And what we observed today was a, a beginning ramps builder and a very sophisticated ramps builder in one classroom. They were both equally engaged in the activity because it was meeting their needs. We are challenging all of our students. We want to just be mindful and purposeful in our instruction and what it is that we're trying to do in pre-K. I think we're just being more intentional, more focused on that, making sure that we are delivering that type of instruction that will again get our students to real world experiences.